Hello and welcome to Fiber Trek. My name is Sarah. Welcome. You are most welcome to my studio here in the north woods of Maine. Although on this edition, we are traveling from Canada to Sweden. I am so thankful for the patrons who support this creative project. I am humbled and encouraged and deeply appreciative of your financial support. So many of you have chosen to like, subscribe, or leave comments. And again, I am deeply grateful for the insight that you bring to this project and for your support. On this edition, Sophia Carlson, a dear friend and a knitwear designer, has joined me in conversation. I am looking forward to sharing with you a little glimpse into my trip to the Yukon. I'm so glad you're here. Let's catch up. Sophia, uh, Capella, but soon... Soon to be Carlson. Soon to be Carlson, which is why I'm here in Sweden with you to celebrate. 
this amazing marriage to Hokan. Did I say it right? You did. Oh, amazing. <laughs> There's a lot of behind the scenes action happening here and um, really uh, grateful for our ability to use this space, uh, which is uh, the Pinterest Laden. Yes. Uh, and it is a bed and breakfast space in, what you say? Trusa. Trusa. <laughs> we won't tell you what that means, but if you would like to go Google translate that word, <laughs> it's quite silly. It, it yeah, is. it's but absolutely beautiful. But you can you can take a look at more of this on uh, both of our podcasts, but you can certainly follow Pinterest Laden. On, on Instagram. Instagram and with that introduction which is um, I, I did want to reassure Sophia that we were going for a very casual and informal experience <laughs> as usual uh, because we try to work with what we've got and um, in more of a minimalist filming experience so um, I really wanted to um, let this conversation unfold because a, you've been interviewed on a number of other um, kind of high-profile podcasts like Fruity Knitting and you have your own podcast where you talk about your knitting. So I thought for this instance, you might just take us through a little history because what I really want to set up all of you for is to think about and hear about what Sophia is doing in the future yeah. and um, all of the great work that's going to be happening um, and all the creative opportunities that you've created for yourself um, through, you know, this pile or this compilation of work yeah. here. <laughs> so um, I'm going to let you take it away, but maybe before we launch into that, you might want to just talk about what you're wearing because it is so stunning. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, and thank you for having me. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for staying at this beautiful place with me. <laughs> it was really hard and she yeah. did a lot of arm twisting <laughs> and I may have you know, a little bit of tantruming, but finally I decided I would come. Ooh, it's yeah. really beautiful. We've had such a great time. Yeah. Uh, and we still have We're still a here. great yeah. time ahead Head of us. Look forward to, yeah. Um, but this uh, cardigan is a Norwegian pattern from Kofteboken, the first one. There are three yeah. Kofteboken, which means the cardigan book, <laughs> uh, with traditional Norwegian patterns for cardigans. Mm. And uh, I've been wanting to knit this since the first book came out many years ago now. Uh, and now I finally made it yeah. uh, in just a couple of weeks because I, yeah, I changed my plans. I was going to design a cardigan <laughs> and I started it <laughs> and it was so much job and I wouldn't uh, be able to finish right. my own design uh, before my wedding. And I wanted it to be ready uh, f uh, for at the time of my wedding. Yeah. So this is uh, my wedding card. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and it's so funny because oftentimes uh, Sophia will reach out and we'll have a, a a text exchange and you'll be like, I'm going to knit this sweater on size two US two needles and, and it's all color work. And I'm like, great. And then like three weeks later, you're like, look, it's all done. And I'm like still <laughs> slogging away on a row of my sweater. And it is actually, it's a really amazing superpower. Um, yeah, and this wasn't knitting. needles too. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it was 3.5. Which is a US... 3.5 millimeters. US 5 maybe? Because I think a 6 is a 4. But anyway, yeah. it's teeny. It's not like you did it on a US uh, <laughs> no. 17. It's, uh, it's a Norwegian yarn as well mm. as a Norwegian pattern. And uh, the yarn is called Rauma Finol, mm. which is my favorite yarn. Yeah. Uh, or I have many favorite yarns, but it's it's the yarn I use mm. mostly because it's so easy accessible. It's uh, uh, affordable yeah. uh, and really nice, good quality of uh, yeah. And they have um, a really wide range of colors. They do, and so um, it makes it easy to play around with a design that's yeah. in one color, and you can exchange, and you're not worrying about substituting and exactly. etc. So um, so I, I I kind of uh, call it my what would you say with all the colors when you're painting, like my paint oh, box yeah. or my yeah, palette? palette. Yeah. Because I have so many uh, skeins in, in different colors at <laughs> home, so I, I try to yeah. combine them. And, and then I always have to go and get more yarn, mm -hmm. even though I have so much, because I need more from a certain color, color. When, when perhaps knitting yeah. a cardigan like this. But this one is called Bövertun in Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. 
I'm I'm happy. Yeah, uh, I made it shorter because it's a bit I cropped. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit cropped because I wanted to wear it with a dress, mm. and um, so um, and, and I also did some. Uh, uh, I, I uh, hired the oh short row shaping. Short row yeah. shaping, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm yeah. happy with it. Yeah. And I I I bought I have bought um, buttons and. Uh, Oh, traditional yeah. Traditional button bands in Trondheim in Norway last summer. Yeah, so I had those uh, in my uh, treasure chest <laughs> and just <laughs> found them and they were perfect. Yeah. yeah. And that was really the last time we were together was in Norway. It was. When we went on the retreat. 2020, so. just before, just before uh, the, the world <laughs> yeah. turned upside down. Yeah. So um, so we had had a lot to catch up on. Yeah. We haven't seen each other in... Three, three years, years. but yeah. we see each other a lot uh, through the screens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not quite the same as no. this setting, um, but definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm. We were talking a little bit about how thankful we are for the wider web and all of that that brings so many of us together. And so. Yeah, yeah but we can't sit uh, by a campfire like we did yesterday. No. Uh, on FaceTime, yeah. but now we got to sit by a campfire the whole night and <laughs> yeah. we had so much fun. We did. Yeah. And we had a lot of um, planning which we're really looking forward to sharing with yeah. um, our viewers. So hopefully you'll get to reap some of the benefit of the of the campfire party. Yes. Um, but bef you know, we don't want to get too much away. <laughs> 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 However, if we wanted to talk, if, if we you know, obviously we came together through knitting and our interest in wool and being in the outdoors. Yes. Um, that's very important to both of us. Um, and you are a knitwear designer, so I thought it would be helpful to go through a little bit of your work. And, you know, if you want to talk about inspiration, I know you've talked about that a lot before. Um, and then we could maybe talk about where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, I haven't uh, produced uh, or at least I haven't released any um, new patterns in a while um, and that has many reasons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I have not, not stopped working, uh, it's just that there's uh, more happening kind of mm. behind the scenes um, because I'm, I am designing uh, for an upcoming uh, knitting book yeah. and so I can't share those things before <laughs> the book comes out um, and, and therefore I don't have as much time to produce patterns on Ravelry mm. as I normally do. But I really uh, kind of um, miss doing that too. And also I haven't had, um, um, I haven't released many podcasts lately, but I'm, uh, I'm on to it. Yes, you're feeling inspired. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I'm really feeling inspired yeah. to, to continue that trip. But my life has changed a lot mm -hmm. the past few years since we <laughs> since last we, met, yeah. yes. And, um, most of what's happened um, is some is uh, private things I don't mm. want to talk about and and a lot of dark stuff. Yes. But but uh, the past few years have been so light and mm. happy after a lot of healing and my, I have been on a long pilgrimage yeah. and uh, also working with my yarns mm -hmm. uh, as healing. Yeah. Uh, in many ways and. Uh, now I'm, I mean, as you said, you're here for my wedding. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, many of my close knitting friends yeah. around the world are coming. So yes. I'm so happy for that. Um, so things are happening behind the scenes. And also uh, soon more things are happening yeah. <laughs> on the scene. Uh, but um, I can show you some of my designs. Yeah. Uh, they are not uh, recent, but right. they... Um, uh, I'm proud of them and uh, many people are knitting them and I'm so happy for that. Yes. This is a mitten. I mostly have made uh, mitten patterns and sock patterns, also some shawls and hats, but yeah. n I think mittens have become my mm. speciality somehow. I love the, the symbol of knitting mittens mm. and keeping uh, your loved ones warm and holding hands mm. like friends or lovers do. It's, it's a lot of symbolic things mm. in, in mittens. And they're great little canvases, yes, aren't they? Yes, to they play are. around and yeah, yeah. So uh, this is Sagostad, which means it's a Swedish word and it means fairy tale town, because I love small fairy tale towns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, walking around there and you know dreaming and the snowflakes falling down and 
you're having mm. a, a cup of hot chocolate and you can sit in your favorite cafe knitting and uh, reading a book perhaps or write something. So these are uh, the Sagostad mittens and um, I like to also play around with small details mm. like this um, uh, hidden... Um, I don't remember the word Cuff now. Lining yeah, yeah, or exactly. Yeah. And and this pico here and and small um, garter stitch mm. uh, stripes, um, like the street under the yeah houses. And um, yeah, so that's uh, Sagostad. I also made a, a beret a hat. That's right. For this pattern. And uh, what else? Uh, I have my Trondheim mittens, so I should show them. Because this is also a mitten with the houses, but different ones because they are a bit alike, but yeah, but <laughs> still not. different. Yeah. And they have a different top. This is a rounded top, and this is like the mm. traditional Norwegian pointed top. And uh, this is um, actually, I made this one first, and it's uh, the inspiration comes from Trondheim, where you and I have been right. together. and. Um, I, I, I knitted these just as a nerdy, selfish project <laughs> for myself and I thought no one would be interested in this, <laughs> in this mitten, but it's, uh, it's become a, a very popular pattern, mm. especially in Norway, but yeah. also around the world and I'm so grateful for that. It's, it's a privilege to be able to inspire people. Yes. And this is Rama? This is Rama Finul. Rama. Yes. Yep. Uh, yes. wonderful to be able to... This is also Rama Fino and, and, and this mm. mitten is um, Lykta, which means lantern in Swedish. And I was thinking of the, the small, uh, the, the patterns of a traditional mm. lantern and how important it is for us to um, light up the world with what light we can find and, and the light within us. And um, yes, so that's how they came <laughs> alive. And these are also Ramafino and knitted in um, the Norwegian colors. I'm I'm from Sweden, <laughs> but Norway is our um, the country mm. that's our neighbors, and um, we have a strong knitting tradition both in Sweden and Norway. But in Norway, it has been more uh, consistent. Mm. Uh, like in Sweden, we became uh, like a industrialized country, right. modern country earlier than Norway did before they found the oil <laughs> right. and then they uh, <laughs> ran away from us in, in that sense but they they kept on uh, knitting and in Sweden many people uh, could afford to buy industrial produced right. clothes instead and so many people stopped knitting uh, but in Norway they continued the tradition and then in by by the time they found the oil they were <laughs> kind of <laughs> still keeping the tradition right. up so um it's it's a stronger living tradition right. there i'd say right but in sweden it's coming more uh, mm. back now yeah. and many young people are knitting which is really yeah. nice to see so and uh, well this is another yarn <laughs> <laughs> here's the uh, saga stad in another mm. uh, colorway uh, this is actually uh, a yarn from Jämtland, um, a place further up north right. in Sweden where I often go uh, hiking and where I went on my pilgrimage a couple of years ago and then I kept coming back because I have gotten to know so many lovely people there and I, I fell in love yeah. with the nature. Uh, so um, this mitten is actually my love letter to Jämtland and the woods up there. So I call it Heart of the Forest and these were the colors I knitted the first pair of mittens in but I've uh, given them away as a gift to uh, a close friend up there mm -hmm. who's also coming to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have I still have the hat because these are the colors of Jämtland. Right. Blue, green and white like the uh, snow on the mountains and the forest and the waterfalls mm. and the lakes and the sky so when you go up there it's like you see these colors all the time you understand right. it's the colors of Jämtland. Uh, and so I knit this hat. You did? Yeah I knit yeah. this one and my niece stole it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, there's a lovely little detail here I wanted to highlight which is the um, uh, what is it called when you uh, um, stitch over the stitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, 
uh, ask Nina because she's a professional. It's called um, duplicate. Yes, duplicate uh, stitch. I was like darning. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, duplicate stitch um, yeah. heart. So, yes. um, and that's all charted and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the thought of of the heart here, I, I actually I designed the sock first, I think. Right. <laughs> no, no, I don't remember <laughs> myself, but the sock and the mittens came after each other. Right. I think I, I made the sock first and then the mitten. And uh, on the sock, uh, there are the same trees, uh, but under the heel there right. is a heart hidden, like you have uh, to protect your heart mm. and and. Uh, you keep it close and you have it in every step. Right. Uh, you have to um, contemplate on protecting your right. heart. Yeah. Uh, so um, I made the socks first and then uh, the mittens and I made them in different colorways. Like I said, this was the original colorway, uh, which I still like very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I also um, made them in uh, like this more wintry, Christmassy, right. traditional colors. And there's a heart hidden uh, here on the mitten. It's hidden in the palm. Yeah, yeah, the palm of your hand, one of the hands, so you can do as you want. But I, I was thinking I have one heart, right. so it's. Wait a minute. This isn't worked in duplicate stitch, then, is it? Yes, it is here. He, it is yeah. here because it's a different color. Yeah. that's right. Because I was like, I don't remember. Yeah. But yeah. Um, and then I made it in these um, more subtle. Yeah, um, it's a little bit more. Uh, neutral Woodsy, colors, yeah. Earthy. And this is not Ramafinol. All the others are knitted mm. in Ramafinol. But this is uh, yarn from Jämtland. Right. From a small uh, wool mill there called uh, Yarns and Barns. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, soft mm. uh, Swedish yeah. wool. It's got some nice density to it. Yes. It's a dense. It's it's sometimes called Swedish merino because mm. it's the Jämtland sheep. Right. And it's a fairly new uh, breed. <laughs> I don't really understand how you <laughs> right that all um, invent a new right. breed, but that's up to others to yeah. <laughs> decide we and, just and get know. To enjoy the yeah, I enjoy the wool. Yeah. And it's a lovely wool. But it, 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 it just peeled a bit. Yeah. So I, I love Raumafino because know. it almost never peels. It's a and it's and I and it's genuine uh, uh, wooly wool yeah. <laughs> that we both love. Right. So and yes. I was talking with um, a couple other friends and a couple other conversations which are gonna be coming out about kind of workhorse yarns and what we've been leaning into and um, you know, I think Rama fits that bill. Lots of colors, standard, consistent, um, and you know, my the, my other friend and I we were talking about Lopi, uh, yes. Peace Fleece, Rama, yeah. Jamesons, those yeah. types of yarns. We've just been really leaning into it because yeah. um, they do have a lot of longevity yes. and they are easy to access mm -hmm. and also the palettes are you know yes. broad so. Yeah. Yeah, it makes perfect sense to yeah. use the... Uh, is Rauma a Norwegian yarn? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm a Swede, uh, <laughs> all talking about Norway. Yeah. Yeah, we're all friends, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and this, um, the heart in the forest, is um, it's symbolic in so many ways mm. for me. Uh, actually, there's a, 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 a verse from the Proverbs uh, that says, above all else, protect your heart because um, everything you do flows from mm. it. And I think that's kind of an eternal mm. truth yeah. to, um, to live by. Yeah, and it's so nice. I mean, I know often we sit down and we're knitting our patterns, but um, in some of these, it's got some contemplative elements that you can kind of lean into while you're knitting. And I know a lot of us come to this craft to sit and be steady. Um, and it's just nice to complement that with uh, a prompt almost yes. within the knitting. Yes. So yeah, it's a really lovely piece of what you do. Thank so. you. So this is where you've been. Yes. And you've mentioned the book, but I yes. thought you might want to just <laughs> describe as much as you can about that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll, we'll leave a little cliffhanger. People can have a bit of uh, excitement and anticipation yeah. about seeing that in, uh, in person. Well, I've had a dream of making a knitting book mm. for a long time, but I haven't um, 
uh, made it come true. So I actually had uh, the questions, uh, the, uh, a question about publishing a book from both uh, publishers abroad, like in the um, United States and also in Sweden. And I've always turned them down because it has felt like um, too much job for mm. an income that would probably and hopefully come in the future, but um, just working and working mm. and not being sure uh, when the money is coming in. And I've been on my own for several years and um, supporting myself through my uh, design. Mm. So it's been really important to me to um, release patterns and um, I've also done some other things like retreats and stuff, but and some photo jobs and uh, so on. But uh, this is my main income is uh, my uh, my my patterns on Ravelry. Uh, so uh, it's a it's a bit scary now not to produce so much. <laughs> and, uh, so I'm so happy for everyone wanting to knit and buy my old patterns. Um, but eventually they're coming new ones. And uh, so now uh, I got the question again uh, about publishing a book um, last year or yeah last year the question popped and the plans uh, have been cooking yeah. and uh, now I'm working on this book and I, I got uh, a publisher that I really mm. want to work with and I'm proud to be a part of that uh, team and uh, yeah so I'm working with um, new patterns mm. and also some of my old patterns will be in the book mm. but there's going to be a lot of new things too and it's the working title of the book which we don't know if it's the will be the uh, the title no yeah. but it's I, I love it it's um, actually it's, it came from my publisher because mm. of what she wanted me to produce and it's in Swedish so it's uh, Stickning and Värmande Kärleks Historia which translates knitting uh, a warming love story mm. and uh, so it's not going to be just knitting patterns <laughs> it's going to be a lot of that <laughs> but it's also going to be a lot of beautiful pictures and um, of course. Uh, maybe some recipes some uh, poetry perhaps and my stories mm. because I'm I'm a storyteller mm. I love to tell stories and I always have small stories in my patterns mm. on Ravelry right. so I, I, I try to to make my patterns uh, like a, a small booklet yeah. <laughs> with um, uh, pictures and uh, stories mm. and a pattern. So, uh, so it's, and one of the exciting things which we've talked about is because um, I've been not harrying you, but um, we've been talking about uh, sweaters, and I think you are contemplating the possibility of your own sweater design. Yes. Is that not? Yes. yes. So I'm really looking forward to yeah. that. Um, it will be in Swedish. The book will be in Swedish. Yeah. And uh, But I said to my publisher, <laughs> I know, <laughs> because I have so many uh, international um, uh, people buying and knitting my patterns, and I'm so grateful for mm -hmm. that. Uh, so I said, well, I'm going to have lots of questions about when is the book coming in English? Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have prepared for it okay. and, and we're hoping for a translation, but I can't promise anything no, because, no you know, the, the first, the, the original book in Swedish isn't there yet. Yeah. I'm working with that first and we take one step at a yes. time, but it's really uh, a hopeful plan. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I have, um, the Kofta Boken book and that's all in Norwegian and I enjoy it just as much and with a little just extra tweaking and a little Google Translate yeah. um, you can you can get through the patterns because there's yeah. charts and there's um, you know the intuitive you know like oh I know how to cast on and all those pieces yeah. um, so it's not a lot of work if you had to jump a little bit and I know your photography is just stunning so that'll be its own kind of you know, exciting. Yeah, so I hope to piece. to create something uh, beautiful uh, that is kind of uh, my lifestyle yeah. around the knitting and lots of nature shots. Yeah. And, and yeah. so, yeah, my yeah. inspiration often comes from the nature. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's something so exciting. And I know it's pulled you away from some of the, uh, the more um, 
ev you know, not every day, but your regularly scheduled yes, patterning. Exactly. And so that can feel a little bit nerve wracking. But at the end of the day, I think it's really going to be a beautiful project. And I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I don't have any knitting that I can share because <laughs> frankly, it's probably the same knitting you've seen multiple times throughout this month. Yeah, like um, I've been knitting on this for a couple <laughs> know, of months now. I, I, I made the first mitten. This is the roses are red mittens. Mm. It's one of my patterns. And I did the first mitten in, I think, two days. Right. And now this, <laughs> the second it's mitten, I've been knitting on for like three months. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so much else going on. Yeah. And I've been knitting this in between. Right, well, so. <laughs> fair enough. I mean, yeah, I am yeah. a no, I am like the tortoise and the hare here. So, um, and I've just continued to work on my Solalu um, from Knitted Kavavala. But it's beautiful. We, yeah, thank it's you. Up. It is beautiful and I love working on it. So, um, but not that I'm, yeah, I would love to put something like that and finish it on my needles so well we are going to say a fond farewell because we have more things to do and get prepared you to hem my dress yes i'm going to hem some dresses so <laughs> there'll be some other adventures um forthcoming but for now i think we're going to pack up and get ready to go so yes okay bye, bye, -bye. Thank you again for taking some time to invest in this project with me. I will see you next time, hopefully with knitting to share. In the meantime, take care and many fond wishes. <laughs>